Argentina is trying to prevent a major economic crisis. President Mauricio Macri announced emergency measures to stop the weakening of the peso. But on the streets, tensions continue to be on the rise. On Monday, people gathered to protest after almost 600 workers were laid off from this ministry. They are convinced the situation will only get worse. When you see what the government is doing, you know that the only thing we can expect is more layoffs, a deteriorating situation for those who need work. Macri announced he is continuing with an austerity push and he would see the number of ministries dropped to 10 from 19. He also reinstated a tax on exports, reversing the cuts announced soon after he was elected president three years ago. To cover what's lacking during this transition that has become an emergency, we are asking those who can contribute, I'm referring to exporters, that their share will be greater. We know that it's a bad, very bad tax, which goes against what we want to promote, which is more exports to create more jobs across Argentina. But I have to ask you to understand that this is an emergency and we need your support. After signing an agreement with the IMF, the government's main priority is to reduce the fiscal deficit. But for people on the streets, inflation is their main worry. Argentines are watching closely the weakening of the peso because it has a direct impact on inflation, which continues to be one of the highest in the world. And that's why exchange houses like this ones are filled with people who are waiting to trade their pesos for US dollars. The economic collapse of 2001 is still fresh in people's memory, when a run on the currency ended with a run on the banks. Millions of middle-class workers were pushed into poverty. Many fear the current austerity measures may end up the same way. Economists say the crisis this time is financial and political. I think the government is attacking the problems in a reasonable way. The negative side of this, of course, are those efforts are not necessarily popular and they don't sum up to votes. And next year we have a, a very important uh, election, a presidential election. But I think the government is trying to anticipate those electoral year by trying to do as much as hard as possible this year. For now, Magri is focused on putting the current crisis to an end. But those affected say they'll remain on the streets to fight the policies that hurt people like them. Teresa Bo, Al Jazeera, Buenos Aires.